Black's objective here is to make a living shape. This is a very, very complicated problem. So I think it's worth spending at least 15-20 minutes just working through all the possible variations before listening to my explanation. It seems quite simple, right? So you might be thinking about moves like this. It seems like black is building some very nice eye ice shape. But the problem is that white has this move. It's a really sharp move, this bend. It is not to be underestimated. If you ignore it, then white can atari and reduce black's eye space this way. So black must respond. But the problem is that after this exchange, white can throw in here and make sure that this point, D17, is a fake eye. And all of a sudden, black cannot make two real eyes. Similarly, this move does not work. It seems like black's eye space is very big. But once again, white has this move and this throw in. No matter how you respond to it, this way or this way. White can make this into a fake eye, and there's no way black can find two real eyes elsewhere. So now black must try to increase eye space. This will not work because white can reduce black's eye space this way. It's an interesting way to reduce black's eye space, right? So if you play this, then once again, white can just bend here and play something like this and black will be dead. If black plays this, then white can come in this way. And this will not be a seki, right? because there's a cutting point here that black needs to address, and this will be a bent three shape, or a pyramid four shape. So black is in a dead shape after number nine. So that's why number one here will not work. You can try some of the other variations on your own. The correct move is right here, right? Because it's Bending here is a very important move for white. So black should try this. Now if white tries to decrease black's eye space, black now can play at number three. And this will guarantee black survival. Right? If white plays something like this, then black can make an eye here. If white comes in this way, then black can increase eye space this way. And this will be a seki. It's a perfectly alive shape. If white comes in this way, then black can still play this move. And this will likely go back to the previous variation. If white tries something like this, now black can just kill these stones and make two eyes very easily, like this. If white tries this move, then black can play this. And this will guarantee black survival, like this. Or if white comes in this way, Black can keep increasing eye space like this, and this will be a bent four shape, a living shape for black. So that is why number one here will guarantee black survival. But that's not it. Let's consider this move as well. This is a very interesting move to consider. It's worth spending an extra five to 10 minutes considering why this does not work. It seems like a very good move, right? If white just tries the normal moves, then it will not work. Black will live very easily like this. Now white will come in here at F19. And this is a very sharp move that will actually kill black. Right? So if black is not careful, if you play something like this, we're back to this bend and this throw in. This is going to be a fake eye and black will only have one real eye left. If black plays something like this, then this will also not work because white can just reduce black's eye space this way. The sharpest response for black is right here. Now white will just play this move, and it gets a little complicated. Black can play here, increasing eye space. If white is not careful, then this will be a seki. Right? This is a perfectly fine shape for black. But what white can do is play here. Right? Black cannot do this. Right? This will be a bent three, and this will be a fake eye after number eight. So black will have to play on the outside like this. And now this is where it gets really, really interesting, is that white keeps Atari. Black has two options. One is to connect here. Seems like a bent four shape, but it's not. White can cut here, and this will be under the stones, meaning white gets captured, but white can 
actually capture back with number 14. So black will be dead. Another option for black is to try to capture these four stones in a connect and die. Normally, white wouldn't want to connect. If you do this, then this will be a co. But in this situation, white does want to connect and die. Give black two more stones. And this way, this is actually a dead shape. Black is dead after white's number 14 right here. So these are the two variations that you should be able to see if you have calculated this thoroughly. Of course, there are a couple other variations after white's number two, and you can try some of those on your own. Overall, this is a very complicated problem. It is from the book Hatsuyolo. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.